Jerry Lang's reputation precedes him. Jerry currently ranks as the top combustion expert in the world and is a combustion consultant to several oil companies such as Chevron, Texaco, Shell, Exxon, and Mobil. He currently owns 17 patents that have already generated over $1 billion in revenues. I'm Jerry Lang, acting as a technical consultant for FFI, and I want to explain how the MPG cap works. If you look at the action of a standard automobile or internal combustion engine, the four cycles involved are the intake cycle, the compression cycle, the power cycle, and the exhaust cycle. What actually happens in a standard automobile without the MPG cap is the combustion cycle does not complete the combustion in the combustion chamber. In fact, if you take the exhaust manifold off of most internal combustion engines, you will see fire exiting the exhaust system during the exhaust cycle. Now, once the MPG cap is placed into the fuel, whether it be gasoline or diesel, and dispersed in the fuel, the fuel becomes a carrier and takes the MPG cap, which is a catalyst, into the combustion chamber. In the combustion chamber, the catalyst accelerates the combustion, causing it to complete in the combustion chamber itself. This yields more horsepower. Also, does not allow as much heat to go out the exhaust. Exhaust temperature goes down, and this increases the efficiency of the engine, both in mileage and in horsepower. I've tested the MPG cap extensively and proven that it absolutely works. Now, Target 9 Investigation, we're always looking for ways to combat the high price of gas, making sure your tires are properly inflated, oil is changed regularly. But that's a lot of work. So what about a magic tablet, one that when you add it to your tank when you fill up, actually gives you more miles per gallon? Well, makers of the MPG cap say you can boost your vehicle's fuel efficiency with a simple pill. Dino Orsetti puts it to the test. The maker of the MPG cap claims you can get 7 to 14 percent better gas mileage regardless of the vehicle you drive. So how do motorists react to these claims? It doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> it's not possible. I don't know. I'd have to see it to believe it. I wouldn't believe it. Nick Damas of Hammer Auto Body also finds it hard to believe. Damas says he would think car manufacturers would be pushing this product if it did work. One, it helps their sales because it increases their gas mileage, and two, it helps consumers save money. And I have not heard, personally, I have not heard anything in regards to any of these products that actually work. So I put the MPG cap to the test. With the help of Jeff Xline, he found out his exact gas mileage without the pill. After using a full tank of gas, Jeff got 16.1 miles per gallon. Then he put in an MPG cap pill in his tank. On this tank of gas, Jeff got 18.5 miles per gallon, a percentage increase within the range the makers of the pill suggest. Using the average price of self-serve regular gas in the Ohio Valley on November the 20th, it cost Jeff $7.17 less to fill up after using the gas cap, minus the $2 cost of the pill. It comes out to a savings of $5.17 per tank, but actually reduces the wear and tear on your engine and helps your engine last longer. Well, you're with over, over 80,000 independent distributors worldwide in over 128 countries. The MPG cap is registered with the Environmental Protection Agency. The EPA tested the product and reported that it does not do any harm to the vehicle, but the report does not guarantee improved mileage. In a Target 9 investigation, I'm Dino Orsetti.